Hey guys, I am back. This is Tack Pack again. I don't know why I keep hitting it on the ground, but it makes a nice sound. Uh, so we we just did always, always when I'm silent up until I turn on the camera. My fault for not putting it on silent mode. Anyway, hey guys, I am back. This is Tack Pack again. We just did the December Tack Pack, and then this showed up today completely out of the blue unexpected i didn't even i had no idea it was even coming so i don't know what this is but it's here so i guess you'll already know what it is because you'll see the title and the thumbnail and stuff right i don't know so i'm gonna open it upside down because i still have the shipping label and everything on it but so right now i don't know what it is but you know we'll know what it is by the time the video's up so let's uh see what this tack pack is Mod your AR-15 with Tack Pack. Well, that is what Tack Pack is, isn't it? I always forget to say, you know, like I, I should say my little warning. So Tack Pack is a very shooting-centric box. It is for pew pews and those who love pew pews and those who build pew pews and those who collect pew pews and pew pew. If you're not into that, if that is not your thing, if you don't like that, please feel free to stop the video and go find one that you do like. I would appreciate it if it was on my channel, but, you know, anywhere on YouTube. Um, with that being said, let's check out what this is. There's not even a... <clears throat> there's not even a... There's not even a card or anything on this. Oh! Okay, I showed you this card, but I didn't even read it. This is not your tack pack. This is your freebie. So this isn't my freebie. This is Kevin's freebie, <clears throat> which I, I guess, th is this a Christmas present? I guess. Cool. Uh, it's nice. I wasn't expecting it. Let's face it. It is nice of them to do that. Okay, so now we know what it is. It is a freebie from tack pack. Um... for using a promo code. Okay, so I'm guessing, all right, so again, I so Kevin pays for tack pack, it comes here, and then I we get together and I give it to him, and he allows us to do the unboxing and everything, okay? I don't know, this says you're free me for using a promo code. I don't know what promo code he may or may not have used. I have no idea. So I don't know what's going on with this. Um, this is really interesting to me, because I had no idea, I, I didn't know they were doing this or anything. So this is, this is again, this is, I, I wasn't expecting this. I don't know if Kevin was expecting this. If uh, he was aware that this was coming, if he's expecting it, uh, whatever. But so this is a Tack Pack freebie. I don't know if this is a box that is common that many people have gotten, but okay. So there's three items in it. There's no prices, there's no packing list. Let's just take a look. So, immobilized zones, defense training, and oh look, they've got a scoring sheet. Now, I, <clears throat> does this say at what range you should um, put this out? Starts one inch. Um, now, when I say what range, like for example, um, at what distance from you would this be the the accurate size of a person silhouette, you know, of an average, I don't know, five foot nine, five foot ten person, whatever, whatever the average size of a, uh, I'm short, I'm only five eight and like a little tiny bit. Um, so I think the average, average male height in America is like what, five nine to five ten or something like that. Um, so at what distance from you would this represent that size of an average? human being you know what i mean so that's what i'm talking about does it say what range this would be to to accurately train um and it doesn't really it doesn't really say um so but that would be important when you're when you're using a target like this with these well let's face it kill zones right um in order to get the accurate training out of it you want to have it so that this is correct relative size to the distance that you are shooting. If you have this right up in front of your face, it obviously does not accurately represent 
the size of the targets that you're aiming for. And if you have it at, well, let's say, uh, you know, 100 meters away, it's going to be way too small to accurately reference the size unless, you, unless you're doing scope shooting or something like that. So anyway, that's why it would be important for this to say it is a 25 meter target. It is a, you know, 100 foot target, whatever, whatever it happens to be. I don't see that on here. Um, but, you know, you can figure it out, I guess. But I do like that it gives you, um, you can score yourself. Of course, another thing people want to do is measure your grouping. Um, it's, you know, I, I can't remember what, what's that phrase? Um, I can't, I can't remember, but it has to, it has to do with ac accuracy and consistency. Accuracy and consistency are two different things. <clears throat> it's one thing to put, you know, one round through, through the X here, but then all your other ones are all over the place. Um, but if, you know, you don't hit this right here, but then you hit the five, but all of your rounds are within, you know, a half an inch or an inch of each other right there, you know, at least then you, you're, you're consistent and then you can shift sights, adjust your sights over. But if you're like, you know, all over the place, um, but you get one in the X, that, that doesn't, you know. All right, I'm done talking about that, but that's cool for training purposes. Okay. Um, next, there's this uh, next level armament linear compensator. And I believe that we have seen this in this particular box before. I'm In fact, I am quite certain because I do believe that for Kevin, I, um, I actually coded one of these in blue. He wanted a whole blue. Uh, we did, what did we do? We did the upper, we did the lower, we did the barrel, we did the compensator. I think we did the buffer tube. We did the pistol grip. Uh, we did a number of things. <coughs> Excuse me. And I believe this was one of the things that we did. Um, so we've, we've seen this before. And I, I don't remember what the price on it is. Uh, but this is a uh, 556. 223 type thing so okay looks pretty cool I, I don't honestly know how well it functions compared to others because I've never actually shot through it and then there's the grip mat you know we've seen this in a bigger version we've also seen this connected to a uh, you know a big soft work mat um, is this the one that's magnetic Ew, slimy. Um, there's a code if you guys want. Now, the whole thing about the reason it's not slimy, it's just this grips, that's what it's about. So it doesn't, doesn't shift around. So when you're disassembling or you have just parts, you can put all your little parts in here, prevents them from rolling around. I've made that mistake in the shop. I have had parts roll off a table um, and Listen, I think we all have, for example, little steel ball bearings that I have for actually for mixing up bottles of paint. Um, but, you know, rather than have them roll all around like here, you know, you put them, well, like you, well, boy, did I just screw up that demo. All right, I'll get them later. But you put them in here so that you don't lose your little pieces like screws and nuts and bolts and springs and stuff like that. And this purposely even no matter what happens this doesn't shift around so that's actually really good and it you know it doesn't have to be for firearms work whatever work you're doing i like these a lot um the one that's attached to the work mat is really cool because it actually has a little magnetic thing in it great now i'm gonna have the uh it has a magnetic part in it that that will hold some parts really good but whatever this is made of um silicone i guess but it's it's got some kind of stickiness not stickiness it's not sticky it just grips so it doesn't shift around you're not worried about knocking it over or, or losing your pieces so it's very good for multi-purpose kind of thing it's cool so that's a nifty little box um like i said i I'd, I'd love to know from other subscribers to the box did anybody else get this um is there is this a is this like a kind of a grab bag where they just package different things or is this a standard kind of thing that multiple people got for using some promo code. And somebody fill me in, what promo code, if anybody knows, what promo code is this that um, that Kevin might have might have done to get this? 
I'm really curious. So, overall, I mean, not bad items, especially for free. Everything in here is useful. Uh, nothing in here is too gimmicky. And it's all free. So there you go. What are your thoughts, guys? Um, what would you what would you think of this? And I wonder. I really wonder what promo code he used, and uh, what he got from that promo code. But again, he free box, free hat. So I really want to hear from you what you think. I especially want to hear from other Tag Pack subscribers if you know what what code got this, or if you got this exact same box, or maybe you got a different box for using whatever promo code share. So cool. Thanks as always, Kevin, for being awesome. I don't know if you, I don't even know if you knew we were gonna get to see this, but cool, so. Remember, you guys are all absolutely awesome, and I appreciate every single one of you, and I'll be back again real soon.